Next guest, Bike Carmel, <laughs> wanting to take it off your hands. We're joined with Kevin Whited from the city of Carmel and the mascot Spokes for Bike Carmel. Look Spokes. At Spokes. Oh man, he's got his helmet on and everything. <laughs> he's so safe. Yeah, very, very safe. He's Spokes. so at home here. Yeah, you doing all right, Spokes? You okay over there? <laughs> Spokes, you are a dog, right? You're, a, you're, a, you're you look very, it, it almost <laughs> of looks course, like, somewhat wolf-like. Maybe no, no oh. wolves. Yeah, you're kind of. Yeah, oh. Oh, he's like that's okay. Touchy subject. Yeah, mm -mm. very touchy. Kevin yeah. Spokes, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for joining <laughs> hey, us. Hey, Kevin. Thanks for being here. This is awesome. We were just talking about the fact that obviously we know in Carmel, you're known for the roundabouts. In fact, he's got a little accent here. Yes. His, his. Uh, Collar tag is oh, a roundabout. Yes. We fitting. just As opened up our 104th be. roundabout. We're working on 141 Jeez. right now. Wow. Yeah, but this yeah. is this is what you do. Tell us yeah. about your role. So, oh, I don't actually work on roundabouts per se, but yeah, I'm a yeah. transportation <laughs> planner with the city. I do uh, a lot of bike and ped work, mm -hmm. and then also electric vehicle infrastructure. And I work with spokes. That's my favorite part of my job all oh, the time. Yeah, yes. you get to hang out with this character. Spokes and I get to do lots of stuff. He's yeah. very involved, I can tell, in yes, probably it, every process. Yes, yeah. everything. I run everything through Spokes <laughs> before I it's a safe do bet. anything. Before the mayor, even. Right? Yeah, wow. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Spokes has the final say <laughs> on how things go around yeah, Carmel. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. How many miles of bike trails are there So in we're Carmel? up to a, a little over 220 miles of wow. bike loops. Bike, so that's including the you know the Monon Trail, and then we have 10 and 12 foot side paths that run through most of our city. Okay, yeah. wow. so you can get around almost anywhere, and every year we fill in gaps. Yeah, when we have extra yeah. money, we fill in more gaps. Well, we got to talk about this uh, upcoming event yes. so that people can get involved. What yeah. do they need to know? So uh, we partnered last year with an organization called Freewheeling Community Bikes. It's in Indianapolis, and they have programs for kids. And so um, their programs are kids come in, they learn about working on bikes, they get to build their own bike, and at the end of the program, they get to take that bike with them. Oh, fun. And then some of the bikes that they collect, they also then sell in their store. So if you're looking for used bikes, it's a great place to buy used bikes as well. And so last year we did a collection, and they said it was the largest collection they'd ever done in, in one, at one time, and we collected, I want to say it was around 70 bikes. Wow. So help us beat that goal this year. Yeah, okay. So we'll be... Do you want to be so from 9 a.m. to I'm sorry from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Yeah. We'll be at the Carmel City Hall awesome. in the parking lot. Okay, you bring your bikes. Just taking bikes. Yeah, if you got them of of all sizes. All sizes. Okay. Adult bikes, kids bikes, you name it, we'll take them. Okay, that's great. Right. Um, I, I gotta ask, what's the background of Spokes here? We you, need you the mean, backstory. Yeah, spokes. give us the backstory yeah. of Spokes. So <laughs> he's telling his life story. <laughs> Through interpretive, like dance. Started, through interpretive dance, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so uh, some some city councilors, I think, is really what it was, and some other people in the city of Carmel thought it would be uh, a, it would help us educate kids yeah. about bike safety mm -hmm. if we had a mascot because people love mascots, and they I didn't know that. Maybe I don't <laughs> as much, but I do now. But uh, spokes, but yeah, he you. really it, it really helps when we're working with kids on bike safety. Yeah, you know, spokes always wears a helmet. Yes, and. Uh, I meant yeah, yeah. it outfit. helps drive home the message yeah, yeah. of everything. Right, right. Because yeah, that is an important part of it. But riding a bike is so much fun. But I have learned more and more over the years just how important it is to have a helmet oh, and yeah. things that could be prevented if you wore a helmet. So yeah. that's part of the message. Yeah. And then of course there are a lot of people that do just have a bike they're not using, and this is just a perfect yeah. opportunity to do something great. Yeah, yeah. So probably during uh, COVID, people got new bikes. So uh -huh. they have old bikes sitting around. I or did too. E-bikes <laughs> are getting really popular these days, so they might have an old uh, analog bike yeah. you know yeah. an analog bike that they're not using so they can bring that in that's great that's so awesome saturday the 30th yep. 10 to 1 city yep. hall in carmel Correct. bring your bike spokes are you going to be there yeah, yeah no, you know yeah, it he's the best part you know yeah. he's yeah, going to yeah, yeah, be yeah. there hey thank you guys so much for oh, being here and telling us all about yes. this thank event so it's awesome to have you here yeah and i'm going to bust out my helmet thanks to you spokes <laughs> lots of love spokes thanks <laughs> kevin too hey